Good morning, great to have you uh, in this devotion today. My name is Matt and uh, we are in the very last chapter of the Gospel of John. And um, the, the title in my um, Bible says, Jesus appears to seven disciples. Uh, it should be renamed really. It should be um, how to have a cracking barbecue on the beach because this is a, an account of uh, Jesus um, meeting with um, some of his uh, followers. They no longer consider themselves followers because, you know, Jesus uh, has died, uh, but he's been resurrected and he's, he's appeared to them uh, in a kind of uh, odd way just to reveal himself to them to say, I'm here, I'm alive, I'm still alive on two other occasions. And this is the third occasion where Jesus appears to his uh, disciples, just wanting to, uh, to love on them and confirm um, that all that he said about himself was true and that there is a great future going forward uh, for them and for mankind. And so this is what happens. Um, uh, one of the uh, disciples says, Peter says, I'm going fishing. And they said, I will come with you. And they fish all night and they don't catch anything. Uh, it's, uh, it's a bit boring, isn't it? But uh, as they are um, probably... Um, frustrated with the situation and probably with themselves um, on top of what must have been a, a heaviness of wondering what has all this been about these last three years of being with this guy Jesus and all the incredible miracles and and but the way it came to an end and and is he really alive just this despondency I guess that would have been hanging over them um, Jesus yells at them from the beach um, and he's calling out across the water and um, he says, he says, put your nets on the other side. And they're kind of squinting at this guy and thinking, oh, they don't recognise him at all. Is it because of distance or perhaps was he appearing in some uh, other, other way? Or uh, was it just this despondency that, that they probably thought, well, it can't be Jesus. But, uh, but it is. And he calls out tenderly to them, children, children, put your nets on the other side. And so they do, they put their nets on the other side and they haul in an enormous catch of fish, which ordinarily would have broken their nets. It's actually um, said here, a, a, a lots of large fish, 153 of them. That's um, curious that that would get noted and they, these fish got counted. So it must have been a pretty exciting moment. Uh, but then Jesus calls them over and there's, there's this fire, this, this charcoal fire burning on the beach and and he says, bring some of the fish that you've got. And Jesus spreads out the, the bread and the fish. And, and uh, he, uh, there's, there's some throwbacks there, aren't there, to the feeding of the 5,000 and just, just the provision of God for, for those in need. And here's Jesus, very personal, very kind of intimate with his, his, uh, his dear uh, followers, drawing them in, providing uh, sustenance for them and uh, I love it one, one commentator uh, says this although other gods demand food offerings and a buffet spread of sacrifices Jesus reveals a generous host who cooks for failures and that's how these guys would have been feeling they would have been they would have felt like failures they would have felt like who we were such fools to follow this crazy guy and and now look at us, but no, Jesus has come and shown himself a third time and he's about to set them on an incredible journey of spreading the good news about Jesus. Remember that Jesus ascended to heaven and he said, don't worry, I'm going to send another helper and he sends the Holy Spirit and uh, they get filled with boldness and courage uh, to preach good news about Jesus. This commentator also says this, says, says this while other gods may sprinkle good fortune in exchange for their worshippers sweat and blood Jesus reveals a God who offers himself living bread that nourishes our real hunger Jesus is the bread of life uh, talk about a barbecue on the beach man this was the ultimate barbecue deep grace deep friendship uh, just tenderness this is this is how Jesus is this is this is who he is he's full of grace and full of truth and I'll just pray that in your day you recognize that that Jesus is is calling out to those that 
uh, perhaps not feeling too connected, perhaps doubting, perhaps uh, wondering where Jesus is working in their lives. Maybe that's you today. Let me just pray. Lord, thank you for your kindness. Thank you for this beautiful picture of you cooking, the God who cooks, cooking for his followers and, and just sharing tender moments, uh, lavishing them, them with grace and just offering himself this, this bread of life. Lord, thank you. That's who you are. Lord, I just pray for anyone watching this today, Lord, that they know that you're the one who is going to nourish them today, Lord. And we pray that we wouldn't reject your offer of friendship. We wouldn't reject your offer of a, of a great barbecue, Lord. And we just say, God, please help us to know, Lord, that you are the very source of all that we need. Amen. Amen. God bless you.